Hello everyone. Today let me introduce you a very powerful and free WordPress plugin and add-on to Elementor website builder sticky header effects for Elementor. Many of you may have also uh, uh, seen this plugin and are familiar with this plugin. Uh, if you're familiar with this plugin then you, uh, you can skip this video but if you are new to this and then please uh, yeah let's go through this with me uh, this plugin is very useful for us to design sticky header uh, different types of uh, sticky header here let me show you this is a yeah tra transparent header when we scroll down yeah uh, this sticky header comes about with a white background color the background color of the header scenes on scrolling and this uh, transparent header also designed with this uh, uh, sticky header plugin yeah trans header is yeah uh, meaning header is designed with other plugin but this transparent mode transparent mode is designed with this uh, plugin not with uh, negative margin or something and yeah we can also change the background color as well we can change the logo we can change this uh, navigation menu text color link colors yeah lots of we can do and we can also hide this uh, sticky header when it scroll down and only source up when someone scrolls up we call it smart sticky header yeah, we can do it with this free plugin so this is a uh, multifunctional and very powerful plugin for designing sticky header it is not the step for this uh, latest version of wordpress that is for wordpress 5.6 but uh, don't uh, you do not have to worry uh, i'm using here it is quite fine there is no conflict uh, so you can use it without any worries and it is also very good, have good ratings uh, out of 20 ratings 24 5 stars so now it is uh, comprehensive rating is 4.5 now let's go ahead here uh, this design web plugin was yeah this header was designed with this elements kit let's edit it okay you uh, you have to uh, make a sticky for all yeah all widgets of this section if you have yeah for example if you have uh, some like this um toolbar bar menu something like this you have a toolbar bar menu but you want to make it sticky only this portion you can do the that also here like this say uh, let's uh, input some phone number or something Okay. Okay. now we have this uh, top bar header but when scroll down sticky portion is only this yeah uh, logo and the navigation menu so that's why i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about you have to select on this section and you go to the advanced setting this sticky header effects this uh, tab you have to select it 
And by default, you, know, you um, it will be turned off. You have to turn on this and scroll distance to uh, yeah. Scroll distance is by default is 60 pixels. It's okay. Uh, leave the default if you want to change. Uh, if your header is very large, the height is very wide, then you can adjust this, this scroll distance. Uh, if not, leave the default. Transparent header. If you want transparent header like this, um, click uh, turn on. Otherwise, turn off this. And background color change. Of course, it is compulsory. We have to change the background color when scrolling. Uh, the mo uh, uh, can only mostly if this is for uh, transparent headers. Those is transparent headers need to change background color when uh, when the header turns sticky. Otherwise, uh, you can leave the default color too. And bottom border. You can set a string header, header height after scrolling. You can shrink down or not. If you, yeah, as I have mentioned before, if your header is very uh, large, meaning height is very wide, high, then you can shrink, shrink down when uh, the header turns sticky. Otherwise, leave the default, turn off. Changing logo color. This is a very powerful tool that when someone scrolls down and the header turns sticky this black logo can turn to white but as of now i have tried this uh, feature but it is not working it does not turn uh, white the logo does that does not turn white when yeah scroll down as you can see here so yeah maybe there is a bug with this feature or something i uh, i hope the plugin developers will yeah uh, swap this issue blur background add a modern blur effect to a semi transparent header background color after the scrolling yeah but it is not necessary height header on scroll down this is uh, this is very good yes you see let's see here Okay, header is height, but if you scroll up little, header will come down. So this type of stick header is called a smart header. See, there's some background color here. Background color is changed to white, should be white. Let me show you properly. Here. Yeah. When you scroll down, header is hidden. It is very good otherwise header, the header will occupy a portion of your screen size even more for the smaller screen sizes here for example here uh, in the mobile screen yeah if, uh, if the header is yeah, fixed like this sticky yeah, all the time then yeah as you can see it, will, it, it is occupying almost one third of the screen size this is not what we want so when you scroll down header is hidden like this but if you scroll up a little header will come down this is called yeah, smart stick header this is very very powerful feature you have to turn uh, yeah you have to turn on this feature yeah that's all these uh, features what we need most you have to turn on sticky header compulsory and transparent header you can turn your website uh, header into transparent if you want and background color change this is a compulsory and this hide header on scroll down this is a compulsory background color change and hiding header on scroll down these two features you have to remember this is two main feature of a sticky header and yeah this is for very powerful free plugin and i hope that the developer team the developer will maintain this plugin around for a very long long time and if you find this video helpful please click the thumbs up button if you have any questions doubts please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel please consider subscribing me please support me 
uh, thanks for watching again